Data manipulation language commands are used to manipulate data that is stored in databases. You can use DML commands to insert, update or delete data into database objects. To insert data into a table in a database, you type insert into followed by the columns enclosed in parentheses. You then type values and then the values enclosed in parentheses. Note that you must type the values in the same order as the columns you have previously specified in the first parenthesis. OK, so we're in MySQL Workbench, and in my schema 1, I have a table called Depth. Let me query the table. As you can see, this table has four records. So let's use the insert command to insert a new record into this table. I want to insert a new department called department 50 that is technology and located in New York. So to do that, I type insert into depth, which is the table name, open parenthesis, type in the columns, which will be depth no, D name, and lock. I then type values. The values I would like is 50 for the depth no, technology for the department name, and New York for the location. And as you can see, one row has been inserted. So now let's query the depth table again. And here's our new row. In our insert into command, if we leave a column out, it will be populated as null. So let me insert another record. This time, I'll just write department number as 60 and leave everything else out. So to do that, I type insert into depth and this time I'm only going to be updating the depth no and I'll leave out all the other columns and I type values just the one value of 50 and as you can see that's worked fine now let me query the depth table again and here is our new record populated as nulls it's also important to note that we must type the values in the same order as the columns in our first parenthesis. So if I change the column orders around, that's also fine, but the values need to match that order as well. So let me show you. If I type insert into depth, and this time I change the column orders around, I'll type the name first in, rather than depth no, then type depth no, and then look, and I type values. This time I'll add D name first and I'll just put technology again. The department number I'll put 50 again and then location again I'll put New York. And again that's worked fine. And if I query the table, That's also worked fine. We also actually don't have to specify the columns. We can actually just type insert into depth, values, and then type in the values like you'd like to add. So 50, technology again, and New York. And if I insert that, it will also work fine. But one thing to note, is you must write the values in the same order as they appear in the table in the database. So if you query the table, you can see that you must specify depth to know first, then D name, then lock. You can update values stored in columns in the database using the update command. You type update table followed by set you then type 
the columns which you would like to update with an equals operator and the value you would like them to be. You can specify more than one column. You can also include a WHERE clause with a condition to update only certain records that meet that condition. OK, so let's now use the update condition to update a value in our depth table. So let's select star from depth. And now I want to update all records where the department number is 50 to have the location as NY rather than New York. So I type update debt set lock equals NY where debt no equals 50 and run. Now let's query our debt table again and as you can see we've updated the location from New York or null to NY in all instances where the depth node is 50. You can delete values stored in a database using the delete command. You type delete from table followed by the where clause and the condition that needs to be fulfilled for the record to be deleted. Okay, so now Let's delete all records from our depth table where the department number is 50. To do that, I type delete from depth. Use the where clause where depth no equals 50 and hit run. Now let's select star from depth. And as you can see, all rows have been deleted where the depth node is equal to 50. So that was just a short video on DML commands in SQL. I hope you found it useful.